I'm running for office because our community has really, uh, we're disheartened with the way things are going. We feel like we've left out. They've, uh, they don't communicate with us like they used to, like they should, and we just feel left out as a community. And the members, we've gone to a lot of board members of meetings and wanted people to listen, and no one's been there. And every time it's time for an, uh, us to complain and talk about the MLK situation, we're moving the, the school on our side of town and the flooding, we had a lot of concerns. Nobody paid attention to us. And it, it just, it made a great difference to me. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't like it at all. I, I, so I felt somebody had to speak up. Being a pastor, teacher, and whatever, I've decided to take this, this, this task on. Mm -hmm. Not used to this, but I'm, I'm going to take it on. Okay. <laughs> Seeking re-election based on the fact that I know there are some things that, um, that we still got to do, waiting on some things to get done. Uh, overall, I feel like this board has done a really great job uh, with my help. Uh, so I just want to continue to fight for my district. Uh, and this district is really, um, it's really dear to my heart because I went to school K through 12 in District 6 in, um, in Monroe, Louisiana. Okay. We're running for Monroe City School Board because we are interested in ensuring that proper funding is uh, distributed to all of our students in the school district. We're also running for Monroe City School Board to ensure that um, our special ed program has, has the proper people overseeing them. Uh, special ed program. We also run for the Monroe School Board to ensure that our children are involved in the arts, uh, band instruments, uh, orchestra instruments. I'm, in, uh, I'm, I'm uh, interested in seeing that our fine arts and that our uh, drama uh, has the proper funding. Okay. 